In problems one through six, we check for y-axis symmetry and x-axis symmetry. By replacing x with negative x, we see if there is y-axis symmetry. By replacing y with negative y, we see if there is x-axis symmetry. In both of these situations, the symmetry exists if we end up with the same equation as when we started out. So when you square negative x, you're going to get positive x squared. So as you see, we did end up with the same equation as we started out with. So there is y-axis symmetry. Now we're going to check for x-axis symmetry by replacing y with negative y. So once again, we end up with the same equation as we started out with. So there is x-axis symmetry. Later on, we're going to learn that this equation it produces a graph that is a circle with a radius of 2 with the center at 0, 0. So as you can see, it has both x-axis symmetry and y-axis symmetry. Meaning if you fold the graph on the y-axis, for example, the two sides overlap on one another. Now for number two, if we replace x with negative x, we do not end up with the same equation as we started out with. So there is no y-axis symmetry. But since there is no y, when we replace the non-existent y with negative y, we end up with the same equation. So there is y, there is x-axis symmetry. And as you know, this is an equation of a vertical line going through x equals negative 3. And as you can see, there is, in fact, x-axis symmetry. If you fold the graph on the x-axis, they overlap on one another. You get the same thing. Okay, moving on to number 3. Let's replace x with negative x. Negative x cubed is negative x cubed. So we did not end up with the same equation as we started out with. So there's no y-axis symmetry. Now let's check for x-axis symmetry by replacing y with negative y. So we end up with x cubed equals negative y cubed plus y. This equation is not the same as the equation we started out with. Even if you multiply both sides by negative 1, it'll be different from what we had up there. So there is no x-axis symmetry. Moving on to number four, replace x with negative x. We end up with the same equation that we started out with. So there is y-axis symmetry. Replacing y with negative y, we do not end up with the same equation. So there is no x-axis symmetry. Number five, replace x with negative x. We do not end up with the same equation, so no y-axis symmetry. 
and replace y with negative y. Once again, we do not end up with the same equation as in the very beginning, so there is no x-axis symmetry. This is an equation of a line, a slanted line that does not go through the origin, so that makes sense. Okay, this one we will learn later uh, is a parabola, and um, there is y-axis symmetry, but no axis symmetry. Okay, let's do number six, replace x with negative x. And yes, we do end up with the same equation. So there is y-axis symmetry. And to check for x-axis symmetry, replace y with negative y, and there's no x-axis symmetry. Okay.